Saturday at pregame, this is Johnny Detroit, the people's champ. Let's get right to the action. Recap yesterday, rough beat for multiple handicappers as San Francisco comes back and scores four runs in the top of the ninth to take down Oakland 5-4. to four. A lot of guys had that as a big play. Real rough beat there. Also, Mark Di Marco D'Angelo had a best bet, and he lost that on the White Sox 1 to nothing in extra innings. Who's my feature today? It's Goodfella. Yes, the guy with the cap, the guy who is killing baseball. Losing day yesterday, but he's still 27 and 10 of his last 37 in Major League Baseball. He has a three star selection going today. Goodfella is one of the most profitable guys long term at pregame. He's been around since almost the beginning. One of the most popular guys in the community. Most One of the most respected handicappers in the business. And he has a big three-star going today. So what does Johnny Detroit do? Why do they call me the people's champ? I have discounted his 7 and 30 day packages today. Until midnight, you can get it discounted. So for those who understand basic math, this package today, $24. Write it down if you have to, $24. His seven day discounted, sixty nine bucks. That's seven days of all Goodfellas selections for sixty nine dollars. It's thirty day, one forty nine. And a little secret tip: a lot of people don't realize, if you buy it before midnight, the system will give you access. So technically, you'll get to play today. But since we don't want anyone to potentially buy it at eleven o'clock at night and get cheated out of a day, and there's no games. The system automatically doesn't start the countdown until after midnight. So the seven day is technically eight days. The 30 is technically 31. So if you buy it today, you can get seven days of Goodfellas picks, get today's action, and it technically won't start till tomorrow. Moving on, I want to give some love to Professor Donkey, my favorite left coast poster in the community. He's on a 9 0 run. And he has the Rangers today. You can see all of the hot selections from the pregame community by clicking streaks in the nav button anywhere within the site. Also, speaking of the community, right now the topic of the day is should English be the official language? Getting to know pregame is your favorite childhood toy. Mine was a rough one. I couldn't decide between Star Wars, G.I. Joe, and I ended up going with the original WWF. I said WWF, not WWE. Wrestling Dolls. As back then, I was a huge fan when I was a kid back in the 80s. Also, I'm going to close the video out. Johnny Detroit's tip of the day, betting run lines. Here's some math for you. Home teams against the run line, 68.5%. Road teams, 71 point, my fat thumb scribbled it out, 71 point, 77 point something. Home favorites, 69.7. Road favorites, 79.1. So what does that mean in English? Not saying you should never take a home team on the run line. But all things considered equal, you should focus on road teams. Is it clicking in your brain why yet? If it's not clicking yet, I'll tell you as I close out the video. A home team wins by one, they don't bat. A road team up by one, extra innings, ninth inning, they continue to bat. So obviously... The home team scores unless there's guys on base and then hit a home run. The one run comes in, even with guys on base, the game's over. Road team could pile on the runs. Thus, road teams on the run line mathematically cover that one and a half more often than a home team, also more often than a home favorite. So from Johnny Detroit to you, thanks for watching. That's going to do it. I'm back on Sunday. Best of luck.